Welcome everyone to this video. In this video, we will go over different methods to store your cryptocurrency. We will go over hardware wallets, crypto exchanges, and crypto wallets. We'll give you the advantages and disadvantages of each method, and from there you can decide based on your own judgment. To understand what cryptocurrency wallets are, we first have to understand that these type of wallets aren't like traditional wallets. Unlike traditional wallets, which hold your dollars in paper form, cryptocurrency wallets don't store currency. Instead, they record the transactions which are stored in the blockchain. Since they record the transactions stored in the blockchain, they are able to keep track of how much money you have or more correctly, monitor your balance while you make transfers or get more cryptocurrencies. Most cryptocurrency wallets are software programs that store your public key, which is the key used to receive funds, and your private key, which is used to sign transactions which prove you are the owner of the public key used to receive the funds. There are three options you should consider for software-based wallets. One, there are wallets you can download on your computer. You can only access this kind of wallet from the computer you downloaded the software from. Number two, there are wallets which run on a cloud. This means you can access it from anywhere. However, that means that your private keys will be stored online, which makes you more vulnerable to possible hacking attacks. Number three, there are wallets which run on an app on your phone. The nice thing about this option is that you can use it basically anywhere when purchasing things. Alternative options to software-based wallets are 1. Hardware-based wallets Hardware-based wallets store your private keys on a hardware device like a USB. Hardware wallets make transactions online, however, unlike software-based wallets, they do not keep or store your private key online. Number 2. Paper-based Paper-based wallet is a printable type of wallet. You would keep your private and public keys on a piece of paper and save it so that you can have the ability to send and receive cryptocurrencies. Your private key would act as if it was your password and your public key will be like an email address. So now let's talk about the difference between cryptocurrency wallets and exchanges. The big difference between cryptocurrency wallets and exchanges is that the purpose of an exchange isn't to keep or store cryptocurrencies. Instead, the main goal or purpose of an exchange is to provide you with a place to be able to buy, sell, or exchange cryptocurrencies for other digital currencies or traditional currency like US dollars. There are three different types of exchanges. Number one, brokers. Websites that allow people to buy cryptocurrencies at a price set by the broker. Number two, trading platforms. Websites with trading platforms help connect buyers and sellers and take a fee from each transaction. Number three, direct trading. Platforms like these provide direct person-to-person -person trading. These type of exchange do not have a fixed market price. Each seller will set their own exchange rate. Now let's talk about which is safer. Wallets are considered safer for storing your cryptocurrencies than exchanges. Since exchanges rely on third parties, it won't guarantee that your cryptocurrencies will be safe. We consider hardware wallets the best option for both convenience and safety. Cryptocurrency hardware wallets are basically USB sticks that carry your private and public key. Each hardware wallet can support only a number of cryptocurrencies, and each of them differ based on the company you choose to buy your hardware wallet from. The way that the hardware wallet works is that you would basically only connect it to the internet when you want to make a transaction or receive a transaction and it's made for storing your cryptocurrency for the long term instead of just having an active wallet that you're using every day. So it can be considered as a saving account instead of a checking account because you don't want to be always accessing it but you will know that you're safe by storing your cryptocurrency in it. This does not mean these hardware wallets are unhackable but they do provide it an advantage in security comparing to other means of storing your cryptocurrency. The reason that they are more secure is because of the way that they're engineered. And one of the biggest things is that they only connect to the internet when a transaction is either being sent or received. Other than that, they're always offline, which means that the hacker won't be able to reach them, which puts them on a high security level. Some hardware wallets can also save your passwords in there, so you can use it for saving your cryptocurrency 
and your passwords like the Trezor wallet. So knowing the distinction between these hardware wallets and the hot wallets will give you a good understanding of what you need to store your own cryptocurrency. So if you do have a big sum of cryptocurrency and you don't touch it that often, it's always good to put it in a hardware wallet. Since using a hot wallet and you use your computer daily, there's always a chance for somebody to gain access to your computer and then taking your cryptocurrency out of your hot wallet from your computer. But if you do use your cryptocurrency actively and you're actively either trading it, withdrawing it, or moving it around, then hardware wallets will become inconvenient because it is a bit harder to access them from there. It does take more time. So from seeing the two options, you can just decide based on your own situation. You can store some on a hardware wallet and some on a hot wallet so you can move it around there. But just in the end of the day, don't store it in an exchange because those can either close or a hacker would make his way on the exchange way easier than they would make it on the hot wallet on your desktop. The top three hardware wallets will be Ledger Nano X. Ledger Nano X is the pretty advanced one. It's kind of more on the expensive side, but it does look really nice and it's an easy to use hardware wallet. It's specifically made for only storing your cryptocurrency. So if you'd like to use the Ledger Nano X, we will leave the link in the description below. The second spot would be the Trezor Model T. The Trezor Model T is a pretty good choice. It's kind of on the expensive side, but it also does your passwords and cryptocurrency. So you can store your passwords on it and by connecting it with a USB cord, to your computer you can just enable your passwords and sign in using the Trezor. And lastly we have KeepKey. KeepKey is a pin protected hardware wallet that looks pretty nice. It is on the cheaper side. It doesn't have the best reviews but it's a really good option to use if you're a starter. It's integrated with the Shapeshift Exchange so you can convert your cryptocurrencies on the hardware wallet itself. That does defeat some security layers but it, it's still a good option to use. Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the descriptions below. We hope you guys stay safe and have a great day.